Hello, this is Vic Maris, president of Stellar View Telescopes. I've been making telescopes for more than 50 years, and today I'd like to talk to you about our M002C mount head. During the video, we'll refer to it as the M2C. Here we have the Stellar View M2C mount head by itself. Here, it's mounted to a heavy duty camera tripod. And this is the M2C attached to a MEC-003 column and the StellarView Denali tripod. The component parts of the M2C, the column, and the Denali tripod are all made right here in Auburn, California. Our M2C mount is highly rated because it's precision machined on our Haas CNC machines. The M2C has oversized Teflon and stainless roller bearings, and it's designed to glide effortlessly and intuitively from object to object in the night sky. Telescopes attach to mounts using one of two types of rails. These rails attach to the telescope's mounting rings, and these rails, which have a dovetail shape, slide into the shoe on the mount. There are two types of rails the thinner V-rail and the wider D-rail. Our M2C mount uses our combination shoe that will hold either of these rails. Let's now see how to attach a telescope to the M2C mount and how to adjust it for optimal performance. Before inserting the telescope rail, position it horizontally. Make sure both the altitude and azimuth knobs are relatively tight. Loosen the black shoe knobs just enough to accommodate the width of the rail. Slide the rail into the opening and then tighten both shoe knobs with equal pressure. Make sure it's tight. The next step is to balance your telescope. To do this, insert your star diagonal and eyepiece into the focuser. Loosen the altitude adjustment knob on the side of the mount so the telescope can move up and down easily. Generally, when you loosen this knob, one end of the telescope will drop. The end that drops needs to slide toward the shoe in order to balance the telescope in the mount. Here we have the eyepiece end, or the back of the telescope, moving down when we loosen the altitude knob. This means the back of the telescope needs to slide toward the center. To accomplish this, loosen both of the screws on the shoe slightly, no more than half a turn. If you loosen these knobs too much, the telescope could fall out of the mount, so please do not do this. Slide the telescope forward a little until it is balanced, and then tighten these two knobs on the shoe with equal pressure. Do not leave these knobs loose or the telescope can fall from the mount and get damaged. Now that your telescope is balanced and ready to use, adjust the tension on the altitude and azimuth knobs. These large knobs adjust tension and allow the telescope to move when it is pushed and stop when you stop applying pressure. If these knobs are too tight, it will be impossible to move it smoothly. Tighten these two knobs only enough to keep the telescope stationary when no pressure is applied, but light enough that you can easily and effortlessly move the telescope when needed. Both knobs should be adjusted so that it is as easy to move the telescope in altitude as it is in azimuth. So now you're set up and ready to start viewing the night sky visually through the best Stellar View has to offer.